Incoming transmission. Greetings everybody, Irish Trekkie, back another Hero Collector Eelmas Star Trek Online Starships Collection issue review. This time we are at issue number 5, we have the USS Baran NCC 96400. So this is a variation on the Baran from the Star Trek Discovery universe. So it was great to see them adding in the ships into the collection because there's some phenomenal work went into designing the original ships and uh, loved seeing uh, Star Trek Online's approach to, you know, honoring that which has gone before. Uh, big shout out to Hero Collector and uh, massive shout out to you folks for making this video possible as well. Your support is everything to have this channel continue in the direction that it's going and I endeavor to deliver uh, enjoyable content for you. So as per usual, we're gonna check out the model. We're gonna check out the magazine and there is a 50% off code that you can use against a tier six ship in the Zen store that I will be giving away uh, during this video as well. So stay tuned for that as a little kind of thank you back as well. So let's get straight into opening up this box, shall we? And uh, so far I've had the code, yeah, the code is staying in there. So whoosh, we get that code over there. <laughs> we have our magazine and we have our ship. So do check out the description box below for the previous uh, ships that we've reviewed. This looks freaking huge, looks awesome. Um, yeah, wow. Die cast plastic components there as well. Uh, ooh. There's a lot of eye candy on this. I'm gonna be checking that out. Let's have a look at the mounting. Looks pretty good. And we have our base here as well. Which is 2193A slash A, USS Baran. So aft mounted, I think we're gonna get full advantage of the detailing on the ship. Let's clear out the clutter and we'll check out the ship before you have a look at that magazine. So here we have the Star Trek Online Baran. Um, again, striking paint applications, very detailed sculpt. Big bizarre collectors there as well, aren't they? <laughs> so let's do a close up here. So we have a tiny little Baran, nice registry. You can kind of see that paint pattern that we saw in the Andromeda kind of almost like a carbon fiber very kind of a TOS not TOS uh, the motion picture type of array that you'd find on like uh, the Excelsior the refit even like the center as well and I love this kind of battle axe type of uh, saucer section and then we have a front bridge nice pylons symmetrical and then we have a registry on the aft of the pylons, shuttle bay on the aft, I'm assuming. Small enough, or maybe maybe they're the impulse sections here rather than these are the illuminated ones. Um, nice detailing on the warp nacelles as well. Ventral size, quite nice. I like these kind of ventral fins. No sculpt on the windows again, which is great. So the alignment, not an issue. Very cool deflector array. A lot of detailing on here as well. We have our registry, we have our escape pods. Nice seams uh, hidden around here and then some nice uh, paint apps as well. They did a very nice job on modernizing this actually. It's pretty cool. Let's see what she's like on the stand. And I uh, will check out the magazine. So there she is on the stand. Again, aft mounted gives it a gives it actually very good height. Um, not much of a, a raise on her, but very well secured going across those uh, double pylons on the both sides of the ship as well. Um, looks like I have this kind of askew from <laughs> being symmetrical on the rotation there. I do apologize. Let me adjust that. Um, but yeah, very, very nice model. Very curious to know what you folks think. Um, do you prefer the original or the Star Trek Online? 
Um, I like both. I kind of, I like the bridge array uh, on the Discovery version rather than the Star Trek Online version. But um, I do kind of like that battle axe type of saucer section that we have here and the ventral section, very nice too. Um, she has a really nice profile to her. And again, it's a Dreadnought class. Yeah, it's Starfleet, but it does look aggressive as well, which sometimes is, is quite nice. Um, so let's check out the magazine, see what goodies lay inside, and then we'll have a final thoughts. So here we have our magazine, active in the 25th century, length 446 meters, roll command cruiser. Lovely graphic on the ship as well. Uh, introduction, we have our starship profile, our orthos, designing the Baran, Star Trek lore. Let me just pick that up so you can kind of see that graphic there. Star Trek lore, uh, Ellen Landry, and uh, we have Star Trek in-game stats as well. So uh, there was a great uh, Star Trek online uh, episode to play through as well so um, I haven't really dived into that too much because I just haven't had the time but definitely it's on the list of to do's we have our mounting instructions and some nice uh, detail eye candy there as well so Troubled Legacy will put a new ship and determined crew to the test so starships named Baran have had a checkered history in Starfleet over the centuries all of them up until 2410 have been lost in the line of duty to the Romulans, to the Klingons, Borg and the Dominion. Hmm, that would give me pause for thought if I was uh, rostered to the Buran. Lovely graphic there, by the way. Uh, so we're having a little bit of uh, honouring the past and innovation into the future. Hands-on approach. Some great uh, in-game images there as well. So we have our ECM baffles, main bridge at the bow of the ship, which is awesome. Primary phaser array, uh, plasma manifold for the warp core. 755 crew, substantial crew, and commissioned in 2410. So like the command battle cruisers that came before her, the Baran had a combat, uh, has a combat information center and a dedicated flag bridge for the squadron CO. These facilities are dedicated to a tactical and strategic understanding of the ship's surroundings and, and an in and out of combat control. So, yeah, she can muster up a, a lot of uh, hurt if needs be. Which is not very starfleet -y, but, uh, you know, again, you're not going to cause a fight, but you want to know how to get out of one or finish one. Here's the original Baran that we saw from uh, our Star Trek Discovery Days. So, it is a Cardenas class ship love love this ship uh, so you can see that they kind of somewhat looks like they brought the nacelles a bit closer modernized and broke up the hull a little bit at the aft section as well and um again i like the way that they approach kind of putting the star trek online spin on things as well so there's a lot of detail going in here into the making of the ship a little bit on landry a decorated officer and loyal friend commander ellen landry was forever changed by the war with the klingons yeah as well as a uh, ripper <laughs> great character fantastically played and voiced by uh, rekha sharma and uh, here we have our stats to end up the magazine review so it's a dreadnought cruiser this is a tier six big hull 6300 um 63,000 even. <laughs> Turn rate of 6, inertia rate of 25. We have plus 5 to weapons, plus 10 to shields, and plus 5 to auxiliary. 4 device slots, and then we have 4 four and aft weapons. We have uh, 2 commander tactical slots, uh, 1 engineering, 1 science, and 1 universal. Uh, 3 tactical consoles, 4 engineering, four si 3 science. Ion storm generator, unified engineering as our mastery. Command inspiration mechanic for specialization. And we also have a Class C shuttlecraft as a hangar pet. Gotta love those hangar pets. Uh, so good stats, actually, uh, for someone who wants to go pick a fight. Um, but again, it's good for any kind of fleet activity as well to kind of bolster up, especially the command inspiration mechanic too. Um, so we have issue number six, which is showing some Romulan love here as well. So we have the Vestam Warbird, very elegant looking uh, craft. So looking forward to checking that out so here we have our back graphic but before we wrap up I'm not going to forget in this video almost forgot on the Bortiskew review uh, I mentioned we have our code 
or the Zen store. So again, captains can use the coupon below to receive 50% off any uh, tier six ship listed in the Star Trek Online Zen store. Uh, so this is only for PC. So first come, first served. And there's our code PNF9LJ54, and it is case sensitive as well. And then you can redeem it there. Enjoy a little bit of a thank you uh, back for your support as well. So uh, let's close out on the... So folks, uh, some great stuff in the magazine and uh, congratulations to whoever snagged the code. Um, again, yeah, I think it's a lovely ship. Uh, it goes well with the ships that we've had in the collection so far. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to see Discovery showing. We've already had a Discovery ship in the collection already. So, uh, you know, I was kind of, you, you had high hopes versus what we've already gotten. But um, again, issue five, the, the home runs still come from the Star Trek uh, Online collection. So top job, uh, Star Trek Online and Hero Collector as well. Uh, very curious again to know what you folks think as well. So with all that said, um, massive shout out to Hero Collector and uh, equally epic, awesome support. Uh, deserves a massive shout out for the Patreon supporters as well, helping me uh, on month to month basis. Um, Hopefully the videos now are coming a little bit more regularly free and uh, I hope you're enjoying the content as well. So um, without much else, without much waffle, I'll let you back to your day. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to stop by and check out the video. If you're new to the channel, do check out the doobly-doo to uh, hit subscribe, like and share. Again, all of your support is greatly appreciated. And um, listen, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sane. I've been your local Irish Trekkie and I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye.